TechSmith Capture is the new capture tool from TechSmith. It can be downloaded from their website. Once you download it and install it, it looks like this. Clicking on Capture allows you to select a region of the screen to make either a screen capture or a screen cast. If we capture this region of the screen, there are built-in annotation tools for us to mark it up. Very slick. You can then upload your image to your screencast account, which you need to create when you download the software. But for image capturing, you don't need to upload to screencast. You can just click on copy and it will go to your clipboard, or you can click on save and you will have a PNG file that's saved locally. I'll click on copy. Once I have it copied, it's on my clipboard and it can be pasted into an email, it can be pasted into Desire to Learn, wherever you want to paste it, you can paste it. If I click on it, it can be resized very easily. If we wanted to do a video capture, we would do a very similar type of thing. We would click the red button, we would select a region of the screen, we would click on the video camera. If we wanted to do a video of our face, if we have a webcam, we could click this and that will open your web camera. Uh, but we won't do that right now. You can turn your microphone on or off. I'm not going to turn it on. If I click the red button, everything that's happening with inside that rectangle is going to be recorded. Now the one catch with screen capturing using this capture tool is that you don't have a choice on where to store it. You need to store it in your screencast account. You can't just download it to your computer as an MP4. So it has to go to screencast.com. You can record up to 10 minutes for free though, so that's kind of cool. And you can preview your video right here. And once you're happy with it, you would click upload to screencast. It will go to your screencast account and you will be provided with a link that you can um, provide to students or to whomever and link to that video. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Hope that helps.